Hey guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com, and today, I'm talking about top three upper back rear delt builders. All right, so if you want to get some upper back size, some rear delt strength, this is what you got to be doing. All right, why this is important? Well, when we bench press, we have to be very active with our upper back. Right, we have to shove our shoulder blades down towards our hips. We have to be very active with that process. That's also where we're loading the weight, right? We take it out, boom, it loads into our upper back. That's that whole sinking down motion. Okay, very important, we have a strong back. Rear delts, why are rear delts important? Keep our shoulder healthy, keep us in a good position, right? We get so pressing dominant that we need to at least strengthen our rear delts to balance it out or else we're gonna be like this all day. Gonna look like one of those silver back gorillas. Which might not be a bad thing. All right, number one, T bar meadow row. One of my favorites lately, T bar meadow row. All right, now this is a great exercise because we can load it up. We can we can add a strength component to it. All right, so we can do this pretty heavy, or we can do this very strict control, then go for a big range of motion. I'll show you what that looks like. Number two, face pulls and all the variations included. Some of my favorite face pull variations. I love using the rope, um, like you would do the rope triceps. I love using that for the face pulls. That can get really hit back there. And we can go pretty heavy on that movement as well for the rear delts. I also love the TRX. If you have a suspension trainer, whether it's a TRX, I actually have a jungle gym unit. Whatever you may have, using your body weight to spread that band, and then you can adjust very easily by standing forward or standing back. That's a great face pull variation, one that I really love. But man, face pulls, great way to hit the rear delt. Number three, seated high row. Now you could use this with cables, you could do this with bands, which I'll demonstrate for you today, but you don't necessarily have to be seated as well. I just like to be seated so I can isolate what's going on. But especially if you're gonna use a bar, uh, I'm gonna use a PVC, um, you can grab out where you would normally bench, right? And you're gonna aim higher. You're gonna aim for a higher touch point because we're specifically targeting, right? the rear delts, the upper back. So we're not rowing into here where we're gonna get more to lats here, right? We're gonna row up a little bit higher. We're gonna touch up more uh, higher chest here. All right, and that's gonna really slam our upper back and rear delts. I'll show you what that looks like. And there you have it guys, there's a top three upper back rear delt builders. Throw them into your training and you will have big results when it comes to your bench press. Plus, if you happen to have any type of uh, shoulder injury or you're just getting shoulder discomfort in general, it's not a bad idea to really hit a lot of rear delt work because like I said, it's gonna take you from this position and pull you into a much better position for your shoulders to be healthy. Uh, and perform how they should. All right, guys, so there you have it. Coach Ben here, and you know where to find me. If it's not at the whiteboard, it's on the bench.